Good morning, my people. I hope everyone's having a fantastic week. I wanted to record this little video about color management in DaVinci Resolve. And the reason I want to do this is because I don't see enough videos about this online. And I figure I put my hat in the ring here. So where color management becomes useful is when you have a bunch of different cameras, say for an event, and you kind of want to match them up without thinking too hard about it. And DaVinci Resolve has done a fantastic job here. For this event that I was a part of, we have the Sony FX3, a Red Gemini, and Ronin 4D. So the first thing we're going to do, see we got this log look out of the FX3, which is great for most people, but we're, we're in a hurry here you got to get this project out. So the first thing we got to do is go down to the gear in the bottom right, go over your color management tab, and then make sure your color science is under color managed. And the color processing mode is DaVinci wide gamut. And the output is Rec 709. So what this color processing mode does is it gives all your different cameras more of a closer look and before crushing down to 709. So I'm going to cancel because I've already done this. You don't have to use 709 2.4. You can use whichever your project needs. So let's go back to our media tab here. And this beautiful clip that's in log shot in the FX3. One of the coolest cameras ever made. So let's control A or command A, right click, Input color space. This input color space drop down shows up when you are using a color manage mode in DaVinci Resolve. So let's move on over to Sony and let's go to S Gamut 3 or S Log 3. Boom. We're pretty good here. So the next thing, let's move on to the red. The cool part about this color manage mode is. If your camera is already shooting raw, like a red, it puts it in the color space you need. So we don't have to do anything here. It's super cool. It's the best part about using DaVinci Resolve for on-site editing, aside from its optimizations with the Apple M series chips and Nvidia. So let's move on to the Ronin 4D. This is all in D log. Some nice bit of swag there. Jealous of it, all the VIPs who got that. So we're going to click on the clip, Control or Command A, input color space, DJI. Let's do DJI D gamut D log. And boom. And now between our FX3 and the Ronin 4D, here's a, here's a similar shot, yeah. The color is very close and we didn't have to do a lot of work. So that was a nice little quick tutorial. I'm gonna be putting up more of these. So have a good day, everyone. Later.